So we're at the 2015 NCHA Great American Insurance Summer Spectacular, and I'm with the owner of the winning horse, Raising the Cash, that Gary Gonzalez just won on, and this is Tom Bailey from Carbondale. Congratulations, Tom. Thank you very much. How did it feel when you saw Gary ride Raising the Cash the way he did tonight? Well, first of all, I'm nervous. I'm probably more nervous watching him ride in an event like this than I am riding myself in those little weekend shows. But it's a real thrill to see Gary do so well on the horse. We loved it in Vegas. The Derby's a special win to us. We've had a little bad luck on the other Fort Worth events earlier this year, but this is sort of like redemption for us. We love it. Well, because we were saying that, you know, it's a cool moving horse, and there's been a lot of talk about it about raising the cash, he's obviously a champion. Yeah, we're, we're thrilled with the horse and, and both Lisa and myself are like, um, we're very appreciative of that horse and we're very appreciative of the fact that we could, we can own really good horses. We were thrilled to own Ray Down Sally, which is still at our ranch as a broodmare, and it won 400,000 throughout her career. And we're thrilled with Elvis. Uh, he's up to almost 100,000, maybe a little over that, and we've got the rest of the four-year-old year and five and six to compete him. So we're looking forward to that, and it's just um, really a blessing to own horses like that. So Elvis is the barn name? Elvis is the barn name. How did you come up with it? Elvis? Well, we were just naming horses after singers. Uh, that year, the barn name, but Raising the Cash came because one of the things I did in Wall Street was raised a lot of cash in the 70s, 73, 74, saved the firm a lot of money, mm -hmm. and so that's sort of what made Janice, and then when we got the horse, we called the horse because it's a Dure, Raising the Cash. It must be very satisfying to to really be with a horse the whole way through. It is, it is, but it's, you know, some you buy, some you breed, I mean, but they're your horses, whether you buy them or breed them or things like that, but you're right, having them from a baby, from conception and that is special. Now, you um, and Gary have been together about 12 years as a, as a team, um, and Gary has said that you've stuck by him, you know, through the highs and the lows, and, you know, that's... It's not often you come across great loyalty like that. Um, what does it mean to you? Well, Gary and I, ever since we sort of met out there in California, and, you know, uh, I actually was trying to buy Spooky's Cash, which is how I met Gary, and, and Jeff Barnes didn't want to sell him. But he said, you want to buy this other horse, which happened to be uh, Spooky Smarty Pants, who was, I think, second in the futurity right behind Chiquita Pistol. And so I ended up buying that. And then I went out and I met Gary uh, at Jeff's place. And he put me on some cutting horse. Or I can't even tell you the name of the thing, but it scared the life out of me. I mean, I was petrified of this thing. And Gary's working me back and forth in this thing. And ever since then, we've had a sort of special bond. I mean, we think alike about horses. We think about their health. We think, you know... Uh, what needs to be sold, what doesn't need to be sold, what's going to work here, what's not going to work here, um, you know, what, how we're going to breed horses. And so Gary's been a very, very influential force in the growth of my ranch, Iron Rose, and what we do. So do you think your personal relationship is a big part of the overall success? Yes, I do. I do. What, advi what advice do you have for others who are trying to forge this same kind of team? Well, some people, and I think it's probably the prevalent attitude, is that they try to fit the horse to the particular rider or trainer. I don't try to do that. I try to select the trainer. And, um, you know, I think I've got him. So, um, you know... Gary and I will be together. I think we've been together a long time, and I expect to be together a long time. Yeah. So you're holding your buckle. Have you had a good look at it yet? Let's no, open it up and have a look. I haven't had a good look at it yet. But She's it's pretty. Beauty. It's a beauty, isn't it? So what are you going to do with the buckle? We're going to display it. We have a, like an um, area at the ranch where we put all the buckles, mm -hmm. whether I win them or Gary wins them or whatever. He wears his, yeah. okay? Yeah. If you notice on mine... 
Okay, it's an expensive buckle. Uh -huh. but <laughs> it's not a it's, it's not, not a, a title buckle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. These are for cowboys. I'm the furthest thing from a cowboy. I'm just a Wall Street finance guy that rides cutting horses. That's what I am. And so you'll be taking this home to Carbondale. Now, um, third place horse tonight was also a Carbondale horse, is that right? Which play? Did you say the third place horse tonight was also another no, Carbondale horse? Aspen. Aspen. Which is 30 miles from. So we're talking pretty local, though. Right, right. Its owner is Stephen Finer. And Stephen and I joke about that we're moving Weatherford to, to, uh, to Colorado. Right. <laughs> Steve, Good luck with that. Steve, <laughs> Steve, Stephen's horse is are trained by Wesley Gallion, uh -huh. and mine are trained by Gary. Well, and Gary also had another horse uh, fourth tonight that, right. that Paul High Hansma cash. rode. High Cash Gal, which is owned by Jeff Barnes, who owns the mother of Elvis. Right. That's owned, all... the, owned the mother of Elvis till I bought it. Right. right. Well, awesome night for you tonight. Thanks so much awesome. for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it.